You got it? That's why mention is a proper translation, even though Greek word says womb. That's why the new translation says womb. But it is mentioned. So why did Jesus point that out? Hmm? You don't have to worry about there is not enough room in heaven. Isn't it ironic? When the Lord God came to this earth, he didn't have room in Bethlehem in. But yet, we get to go to heaven, we have big mansion waiting for us. We have a reservation already. Right? You don't need it. You don't need a confirmation number. And you don't need even to pay uh, prepaid, prepaid the, for the first night. Our Lord Jesus paid in full, prepaid on the cross. Hallelujah, right? It's a big. Why though? Why did he mention? Anybody know? Why did he mention? There are many rooms, many mansions in heaven. Because our Lord God wants us to witness everybody in the whole wide world. Even if everybody go to heaven, we still gotta have a 51,200 acres. So it's not going to be overly populated. You want all your friends and families and members be at the table. Amen. Spacious banquet table. <clears throat> That's why upon resurrection, our Lord appeared among his disciples in today's uh, lectionary reading, Luke chapter 24. He says, peace be with you. It's in verse 36. Peace be with you. And then he says, you are the witnesses of those things. What those things? These things. What is that? His death on the cross. And on the third day, he rise from the dead. And forgiveness of sin. Repentance of sin, preaching God's love and grace. That's what we are to do. That's what Jesus elected, selected us. Did you know that? John chapter 15 and verse 16. Please memorize it. It says what? I, you, did not Choose me, but I chose you and appointed you what to do what to go and bear fruits, fruits that will last. And Matt, Matthias, Matthew, they recorded the same thing. Jesus appeared upon his resurrection. Peace be with you, and go make disciples of all nations and baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit and teach them what I commanded you to obey. Teach them to obey what I commanded you. That is our mission. Because heaven is spacious. Spacious. Don't be afraid to witness his death and resurrection. Got it? Now, third one is what? Hmm? Superior. Why is this superior? When we get to the heaven, we will see our Lord Jesus face to face. Let's look at verse 3. Lord Jesus said, if I go and prepare 
place for you. He says, "I will come and take you." Right? Are you reading it? Yes. Take you where he is, where I am. And then he says, first of all, ask some funny question. You know the place where I'm going." And then Thomas says, "Hey, you." I don't even know where you're going. How do I know the way? And verse six, Jesus said, "What? Let's read it together. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except me." What does that mean? Jesus is saying. I mean, Thomas was asking question. Even if we know there is heaven. There is eternal life, but we don't know how to get there. <laughs> And Jesus says, "I am the way, the truth, the life. You follow me all the way through." Jesus will say that I am the passport from this world to go to heaven. And when you travel, you need a passport, right? And Jesus is here. And how do you get that passport? We always talk about A, B, C, right? Once you uh, come, uh, admit that you are sinners and believe Jesus is Son of God and forgive your sins and commit yourself to follow Jesus, then you go to heaven. You receive eternal life. We all know that. And it's a、uh, instantaneously. It's done. Remember the、um, thief. When thief died next to Jesus, he said, "What? Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom." And Jesus said, "What? You today? You be with me in paradise." That guy was. Very lucky, <laughs> and some of your family member will say that I will wait until, just like that guy, I will do that. But the problem is we don't know when that time will be. You know, there, this is a true story in the book、um, uh, "Mother's Moment." And this Rogers family was very、um, devout Christian. They were always、uh, gathered together, have a theological debate, and have a、um, quizzes on you know Bible and etc. etc. And one day they were talking about heaven. And、uh, little Jimmy, seven years old, Jimmy. Just grab that subject and went with it. I mean, use his uh, uh, imagination, and he said, "When we get to the heaven, the big angel will come and check on the rules, check on the rules, and the big angel will call Daddy Roger. Then Daddy Roger will say, 'Here.'" And the angel will say, "We call mommy Roger," and mommy Roger will say, "Here." And so is sister Roger and brother Roger. And when the angel call my name, Jimmy Roger, I am so small. I just don't want to be missed. So I will rise up and say clearly and loud, "Here." And after a few weeks later, he got into a car accident. He was rushed to、uh, the hospital, and his brain was severely damaged. There was no chance for recovery. So family gathered、uh, together,、um, prayerfully, and、uh, watching over his uh, last uh, moment. And this lifeless <coughs> Jimmy start moving his mouth, and soon, clearly and loudly, everybody 
in the room was hearing him saying, what? Hear. Hallelujah. He answered the call. <coughs> Will your name be on the roll when you get up there? Is your family's, friends, loved ones' names will be on the road? Jesus is the way. We not only need Jesus to go to heaven, but also we need Jesus to prepare us to go to heaven. It is a superior place because we see him face to face. You know, when the babies in mother's womb, they sense, right, mother's presence. Mother is with them, right? And they can hear mothers talking to them, speaking to them, loving them, and telling them, I'm waiting for you to arrive in this world. When they go through a birth canal and voila, born into this world, whatever problem they have for that short moment, some people have 24 hours, 48 hours, whatever that journey was, when they arrive, they are in the real presence, physical presence of their mothers. And everybody rejoice that baby was born, right? right? It's the same thing. We are in this earth being warm. When our time is up, we are going to push it through the journey of eternity. When we are born into a new world in heaven, Oh boy, Jesus is going to accept us and throw us a big party. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, we know for sure, for sure, that heaven is a special place. We can only enter into with the eyes of faith. It is existent, real, and spacious place. We have a big mansion, and it's a superior place because our Lord Jesus' physical presence is there we can face to face. We know this for sure, for sure. Why? Because Jesus said so. Amen? Amen. So we now, unashamedly, without reservation or hesitation, can tell anybody, everybody, I believe in heaven. I want to go to heaven. I'll be in heaven when my time's up. I will have a great banquet every day of my life. Can we not? Yes, yes we can. Therefore, let us give thanks to our God, for He has granted us eternal life in heaven. We don't deserve it, but His love so great, He granted us. And when we get to heaven, we're going to say, there is no place I would rather be. You with me, and I'm with you. When we think of going to heaven all the time, our homes will be filled with the joy, with, with the dancing. And let us give thanks as we celebrate Doris' ninth birthday. Think of eternal security. Think of time we had with her and ask the Lord God grant more many years of blessing and faithfulness to her, and she's been faithful to him. And let us enjoy a 
for taste of a heavenly banquet as we celebrate. Amen? Amen. 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 Let us pray.